Tuesday. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another terrific Tuesday, March the 14th, 2023. And your episode 1015, part one. Or, in layman's terms, if you want to say it a little easier, you say it 1015, part two, or part one, I mean. You got one thousand, one thousand, one o, oh, and everything. You could say ten this, like say ten fifteen. Tomorrow you say ten sixteen, ten seventeen, ten eighteen. Make it a little easier to say it instead of saying one thousand. That's the way I say it. I'll, I'll say it the regular way, and then I'll say it the way I like it. So, but ten fifteen part two. Today we're going to be made in Christ. From Henry M. Morris, starting with um, our beginning passage, is 1 Corinthians 1, verse 30. Hope you enjoy the video, and don't forget to leave a like somewhere during the video. If you if you hear something you like or you learn, let's say, let's say this. Leave a like. If somewhere in the video you hear something that you didn't already know about, if you do that, then the, the like will help the video out. So, <laughs> and remember the like challenge um, five Daddy Devo, five turning point videos at four likes only, which is 10 videos, or you can do all 10 of the turn of uh, 10 commandment videos on our that I have on a separate playlist. They're all on the, they're all from the, the uh, days of praise book. Like we do, like we're doing now, but I put them all on its own playlist. So you can, so you can just watch the 10 commandment story from commandment. Number one, all the way down to commandment. Number 10. If you do that at four likes, only all 10 of those, that would make it a little, a little easier but whichever way you do it, I'd appreciate it. How was your Monday? How did it go? And what are you looking forward to on this terrific Tuesday? Subscribe if you do. Turn on notifications. Share the video and channel with your family and friends. Help me reach hopefully 100 subscribers for my birthday, which is April the 18th, which is five weeks and one day away. Five weeks. That's 36 days away. So, it's a little over a month. A week over, as a week more than a month for the 30 days. So about five, you're, you're looking right at six, you're six days over an entire month from my birthday. So, but... Maybe not going to get the 100 for my birthday, but at least get to the 50 to 60 mark. Because I just looked and I'm still at 37. So I thought I would I might come up since I haven't looked at the number lately. So, But still, it still says 37. But please help me get to a reasonable number. And then hopefully be, be at 100 by my three-year mark, which is the end of May. The last week of May. So, if you do that for me, I would greatly appreciate each and every one that helps me get there. So, without further ado, let's get made in Christ. First Corinthians one thirty says, But of him are ye in Christ Jesus, who of God is made unto us wisdom, and righteousness, sanctification, and redemption. So, the, so we have a Greek word here. Genomai, genomai, G I N O M A I, genomai. I think that's that sounds about right, the right way to say it. Which is translated is made in this verse. It's most fascinating. It is rendered many different ways. Become, etc., as well as be made. Most often, it is simply translated B, B-E. 
And it basically means means begin to be or because to be. To be or not to be? That is the question. <laughs> I just thought of that one. To be or not to be? That is the question. Shakespeare? <laughs> I don't have not much to do with Shakespeare, but I know I understand doing certain history classes in school. You hear, you you read, you study about William Shakespeare and doing certain plays, and then that's one of the lines from one of his plays: "To be or not to be." That is the question. I don't know which one it's from. If you do. Drop it in the comments. <laughs> but, um, it is even applied to the work of Christ in calling the universe into being. John 1, 3, all things were made by him, and without him were not anything made that was made. <clears throat> got an itch all of a sudden. got a little... My nerves moving a little bit and feel like an itchy. I don't have my little my little back scratcher piece so I can uh, grab that thing. I left it in the house. I don't have to do with it until I get done with this video and then I'll get up and go get it. But and then Hebrews eleven three says things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. So it is frequently used also to denote the marvelous work of Christ in and on the believing Christian. And as our beginning passage says, the one we started with, 1 Corinthians one thirty, he becomes wisdom to us who lack wisdom. He has made our righteousness, although we were sinners. We who are ungodly receive our sanctification in him. And when we were lost, he became our redemption. Amen? John 1, 12. But as many as received him, to them gave he the power to become, same word, genomai, the sons of God. So all that Christ is, we are made through his great sacrifice for us. So note some of the other things we are made in Christ. Note some of the other things we are made in Christ by his grace. We are made nigh by the blood of Christ, Ephesians 2.13. We are made heirs according to the hope of eternal life, Titus 3.7. We are made partakers of Christ and also made partakers of the Holy Ghost. Hebrews 3.14 and 6 verse 4. Partakers of Christ is 3.14 and partakers of the Holy Ghost, 6 verse 4. In fact, when we receive Christ, old things pass away and all things are become, same word, new. 2 Corinthians 5.17. So these wonder, wonderful attributes are given to us and appropriated right now by faith and will be accomplished in full perfection when Christ returns and we shall see him as he is. 1 John 3, 2. So, so through him, he has made so many things for us. But we are made in Christ. We are supposed to be made in his likeness. But when we get to heaven, we will be given those new bodies and we will be made new. We will be made like Christ, like the way we were supposed to be. So, but, we'll, but we'll still see each other as we know each other. We'll still see each other the way we 
the way we remember, the way we know each other as. But with Christ, with God, he'll see us as we should be. Like we should, like we'll be made like him or made in the likeness of him. But we'll, we'll still see each other as we are right now. We'll still see our vision of each other as we were, as we are here on earth. But in heaven, God will see us as we should be, but we'll see each other, our loved ones and friends and other people in heaven, we'll see each other as we are right now on earth. But then God will see us as we should be in the likeness of him. So, you get what I'm trying to say at that? Let me know by dropping a yes in the comments. Okay. So, coming up tomorrow in your glorious Hump Day Wednesday, March the 15th, 2023, in episode 1016 or 1016 part one, we're gonna be we're gonna be discussing living waters. Beginning with Song of Solomon 415 from Henry M. Morris. So stay tuned for that. I'll get to that in just a few minutes. Or I'll get to that later tonight, but you'll see that tomorrow at 7. So, with that said, I love you. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Keep on keeping on and trusting God, and he'll keep you safe in all you say and do in 2023 and beyond. And until later, peace out, everybody. So long, farewell. Come back later after one. And we'll be talking about Game of Change. From Patricia Rayburn, derived from Luke 6, 27 through 31. Excuse me. So, with that said, God bless everyone. God bless America in 2023. And I'll see you later. Ha <laughs> ha. So until then... Me and Baby Yoda, we out until later. So have a great rest of your terrific Tuesday morning, and we'll see you after one. So until then, goodbye. <laughs>